Should you slow down your reps to build more muscle? Or move the weight fast and focus on power? A brand new 2025 meta-analysis led by Dr. Brad Schoenfeld just dropped, and it finally gives us a clear answer. Today, we're breaking down what the study found, how it changes what we know about training tempo, and what you should actually focus on if you want to build muscle faster. This wasn't a single experiment. It was a systematic review of 14 controlled studies with a total of 278 participants. Every study compared different rep speeds. Some lifted and lowered the weight quickly, others moved slowly and deliberately, but all other variables were controlled. Same exercises, same total sets, same volume. The only thing that changed was speed. On average, it fast reps took around one second per movement, while slow reps averaged around three and a half seconds. They looked at both the concentric phase, lifting the weight, and the eccentric phase, lowering it down. And to analyze everything, they used a Bayesian meta-analysis, which basically tells us how likely one tempo is to outperform the other, rather than just saying significant or not significant. So what did they find? Both fast and slow tempos built muscle effectively. In fact, the average muscle growth was almost identical. When compared directly, faster reps had a very small edge, but the effect was what scientists call trivial. The difference was 0.09, which is so small it's practically meaningless in the real world. In other words, whether you lift fast or slow, it doesn't make much difference for muscle growth, as long as you're training properly. The researchers didn't stop there. They wanted to see if tempo mattered more under certain conditions. When they looked at the lifting phase versus the lowering phase, the results were the same. No meaningful advantage for either fast or slow. When they compared upper body versus lower body again, no difference. Fast reps didn't help arms more and slow reps didn't help legs more. There was one small nuance though. When people trained short of failure, slightly faster reps performed a little better. But when they trained to failure, slower reps came out just barely ahead. Still, both differences were tiny. Not enough to change how you should train. And that lines up with previous research from Schoenfeld back in 2015, which found that anything between half a second and about eight seconds per rep builds similar amounts of muscle. It's only when reps become extremely slow, more than 10 seconds long, that results start to drop off. So why doesn't slowing down make a big difference? It all comes down to mechanical tension, the amount of force your muscles produce under load. As long as the muscle is under enough tension and you're doing enough total work, your body gets the signal to grow. If you go too slow, you have to lighten the weight, which reduces that tension. If you go too fast, you might use momentum. So the real takeaway here, how quickly you lift matters less than how hard you train. Here's how to put this into practice. One, lift with control, not with a stopwatch. You don't need to count every second, I just move with purpose. A smooth two to four seconds down and about one second up is a good guideline. Two, focus on effort. Training close to failure while keeping good form is what really drives muscle growth. Three, mix tempos when it makes sense. Go slower when you're working on technique or joint control. Go faster when training for power or efficiency. Four, avoid super slow reps. Those 10 second reps don't build more muscle, they just make you weaker for the next set. The bottom line, tempo is a tool, not a rule. What matters most is tension, effort, and consistency. So fast and slow reps both build muscle. As long as you're training hard, controlling the weight, and getting stronger over time, you're doing it right. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment letting us know. Are you team fast rep or team slow rep?